Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel where we dive deep into the latest of tech and cyber security. Today, I have got a very interesting topic which is creating a buzz all over the internet. It is about Mastodon, a decentralized social media platform. Yes, let me talk a little more about Mastodon. Unlike the traditional uh, social media networks like Facebook, Twitter and uh, other social media platform, Mastodon is a little different. It completely works on blockchain. It's a decentralized social media platform. And uh, the interesting part is it does have communities, it does have its own rules and it does have its own moderators. And the best part is it is almost like a federation of mini social media networks across the internet. The interesting part is unlike Facebook which is governed by a particular private organization this is not like that this is not governed by any private organization it completely works based on the rules that are written as a part of the blockchain itself and uh, let me tell you this mastodon which is a decentralized social media platform recently revealed that they got compromised they got attacked by a major flaw called the cve 2024 which is this year 23832 is the CVID. So let me tell you, this particular vulnerability led the attackers to impersonate and even take over the whole account of any end user they want. Imagine that, it's almost like you point at someone and I'll be able to log in to that person. The attack was so severe that the CVS scoring rated it close to around 9.4 out of 10. The flaw that we are talking about is origin validation error which simply means that, say, Mastodon was not really checking where a message is coming from, where they claim to be. This particular flaw of not checking where the source is from allowed attackers to hijack any user's account they want. So what next? The decentralized nature of Mastodon itself claims that you have to be running servers and nodes across, right? Because decentralized. And each of these servers has to get their softwares updated to make sure this attack does not persist. And if you are a user who is using Mastodon, let me tell you what you have to do. All you have to do is nothing. Stay updated, stay informed, keep eye on what is the news that's coming about and follow any instruction as given by Mastodon in the coming days. Mastodon uh, have opened up a statement saying, February 15th, they will open up the complete scenario of the case because it's still unclear right now. This vulnerability is actually a stark reminder for us that even decentralized system, if not coded properly, can cause a huge impact to a lot of people. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more tech insights on cybersecurity.